Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Angel, for those of you who are new here, I'm a social media influencer and I created this channel to help creators. So if you're a creator, make sure you subscribe. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my growth for this year as well as my previous growth. We're gonna look at some results. So if you've ever wanted to work on your social media strategy, this is exactly what I do. I'm sharing it all with you. So hopefully you find this helpful. So one thing that I do is I have this business goal workbook, you guys. I have this offered in my store. I've offered it every year for you guys. I do this every year. I made it for me and opened it up to the public. As a matter of fact, one of my girls tagged me on Instagram with her numbers for this year and they're so impressive and I hope she don't mind me sharing it but she grabbed her journal and she was like Angel where's the 2023 and here it is for all you guys who need to update your numbers I updated this so I'm excited about it because I did put even more juicy stuff I'm a details person analysis matter I analyze myself every year I'm a business and so I have to analyze my business to see am I growing am I not growing what can I do better what do I want to be in the future that's what this book is for to set your social media goals and your income goals so let's jump in and get started but I will link this below if you guys want to grab it it's not expensive but it is very very detailed and it's exactly what I do so first we're gonna start comparing my followers I'm on every platform pretty much I have a lifestyle YouTube channel and that channel in 2021 ended with 59,995 subscribers and then we ended 2022 recently with 72,785 subscribers so that channel did grow by let me pull out my handy calculator which is one of my favorite calculators you guys y'all like my calculator i can link this for y'all too let me see we grew 14,790 followers on my youtube lifestyle channel here on my creators corner channel we ended 2021 with 5,040 subscribers which is awesome we ended 2022 with 11,498 subscribers whoop, whoop, whoop double this channel y'all and I have not even worked on this channel <laughs> so I appreciate all you guys subscribing being here and wanting to learn from me I'm here now so hopefully you can pick my brain so yeah we more than doubled this channel Instagram I ended with 112,483 followers and we ended 2022 with 143,183 followers so we did grow Instagram a little over 30,000 so that was great Facebook actually went down for me Pinterest stayed about the same Twitter went down a little bit tiktok went up for me about 11 12 000 right at and amazon you can have followers on amazon you guys so if you do want to see more of my life and my amazon finds follow me on amazon i more than doubled my amazon followers from 5,000 to almost 13,000. so really awesome year for me i love to analyze myself and i pull my numbers you're probably wondering where i pull my numbers from i do have a daily social media log that my husband keeps track of on every platform how many followers i have but i've been doing this for years and years and years and since he works with me now, that's something he does for me. If you guys want me to offer that, I can try to figure out a way to sell it in the store and let you guys get access to it. But let me know. I don't want to go through the work if you guys could care less. That is something that I definitely do and I definitely recommend. Not only do I do daily, I like to compare. I like to see from beginning of the year to the end of the year. So that's what this journal is for. Analyzing your whole year, seeing where you're at and seeing where you're going as a business. That's that worksheet. The next sheet is for my 2023 goals. I'm gonna pop this stuff up on screen so you can see it. My YouTube goals goals on January 1st I was at 72,000 followers so by the end of this year 2023 I want to be at 100,000 subscribers I am trying to get my like you guys so if you can do me a favor just go subscribe to my lifestyle channel too you might find something that helps you you just never know <laughs> all right but yeah Instagram I was at 143,000 at the beginning of the year my goal is 150 I'll be happy Instagram is very is, is different it's a slow growth platform at this point but Facebook was at 801,000 trying to get that one to 900 thousand and i am definitely headed in the right direction because my channel has picked up again because you know from last year i lost followers which that's a whole nother story and the reason why i know that is because i have my 2002 planner that i filled out last year for same businesses so i have all my numbers in here and 20 20 Facebook, I was at 728,000. Uh, 2021, I was at 818,000. So I did lose some followers along the way, which is fine because I kind of changed my strategy style. And that's totally fine. I want people that more is where I'm at right now and, and likes the content that I'm putting out now. So I knew I was going to lose followers, but I'm definitely gaining traction now because even though January 1st, I was at 801,000, today, technically, at January 25th, which is a couple weeks later, I'm at 807,000. So we're in the right direction. 
right now and I'm getting the audience that I want. So that's another topic. But anyway, another goal of mine is for Amazon. I was at 12,887 followers January 1st. I want to be at 20,000 by the end of the year. I also put on the next page is your goals. So how are you going to get there? I've set my goals and now it's like, what am I going to do on every platform? What is my strategic plan? So this is what this planner is for strategic planning. So I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm going to do. My goal is for Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook and TikTok to post three times a week. I actually started that maybe like July-ish, August, and I've been doing it consistently and it's been going really good. So I want to keep that schedule up three times a week. Plus, I do want to incorporate more long form videos, both for this channel and for my lifestyle channel, Angel Grace 2. So that's on my goals list. And then as well as I think I do want to do subscriptions, private subscriptions. I know for my lifestyle channel for sure. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this one, but if that's something you guys are interested in, you know, maybe I can do live Q and A's. We can, you know, have these discussions one on one or offer member exclusive only videos of things that you guys want to know more about. Let me know. Drop me a comment. I'm actually pretty open, but those are some of my goals for my channels. And then Amazon, I stream every week on Amazon. I'm going to stick with that goal. I'm not going to try to do more or less. That's what that is for. And then the next section is actually income goals. And I am a very private person when it comes to money. Everybody's different, right? And I also know that the uh, government and IRS sees everything too. So I don't like to share too much of my numbers with you guys, but I do make six figures a year and it's not my first year. So I'm in multiple years of six figures. Just so that you know, I am a full-time commenting creator and we do make money here. <laughs> But you guys can go in there and fill in all your income sources, which I highly recommend. Whether you make money from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, brand deals, whatever. How much you made from in 2022, what's your goals for 2023? Compare your differences. See if you increased or decreased your income sources from that source. And set your goals. I did this and I met every one of my goals. For instance, one of my sources, I wanted to decrease all the way down. I was sick of them. I really don't like them. And I'll tell you it's brand deals. I don't like doing a lot of brand deals. So I wanted to supplement my brand deal income with other sources of income that I love to do and I did that. I accomplished it 100%. So happy about that. But fill out your goals, set your goals, and how are you going to get there? I put all of that in this workbook so you guys can fill out. I even put in a YouTube comparison report so you can compare your click-through rates, your CPRs, and RPMs. All of that good stuff is on here from year to year. And it's something to look at to see how you're doing. If you don't know how you're doing, you don't even know if you're growing. Like, are you a business? Are you? Are you a creator? <laughs> so make sure you do sit down and run your numbers and keep track of stuff. I also threw in a yearly overview. So you put in all your platforms and track every month, your growth every month, a monthly analysis too. I do all of this for myself. So I was like, why not share this with you guys so that you know, plus some extra things in the workbook. You can grab this workbook. I have it up. I am a little late to the game. <laughs> this is the end of January. You guys are probably be seeing this uh end of January or beginning of February but it's one of those things that is available to you and it's, it's never too late to set your goals for the year so make sure to pick you up one if you like one highly recommended I have to look at my big picture as a business and this is my business workbook so if you guys have any questions shoot me a message let me know Hopefully this video we found helpful or at least insightful for that fact. <laughs> and we will come back and I'll catch you guys in my next video.